Citadel's Ken Griffin called to testify at GameStop hearing this Thursday. In the past two years, Republicans got more than 60 million of his winnings. When Pam Martins and Ross Martins, February 15, 2021. Uh, the tentacles of King Griffin's Citadel Octopus was involved in multiple ways in the GameStop saga that will get a hearing this Thursday before the House Financial Services Committee. Griffin has been called to testify along with others. GameStop is a brick and mortar video game retailer whose stock soared from 18.84 on uh, December 31st of last year to an intraday high of $483 on January 28th, a breathtaking run of 2,465% in four weeks before it plunged uh, back to earth. It closed on Friday at $52.40. Hearing has been called to call to understand the relationship uh, between all of the parties that played a pivotal role in the wild trading activity, which made fortunes for some big players while leaving others licking their wounds from what has the appearance of a pump and dump scheme. Griffin Citadel Securities was paying for order flow from nine online brokerage firms and able to get an early peek at their trades. Another unit of Citadel, Citadel Advisors, LLC, has a net short position in GameStop and hill options that could uh, potentially benefit uh, from the stock whip sawing up and down. Citadel's hedge fund uh, also invested $2 billion in Melvin Capital to keep the hedge fund from going belly up over its losses from its short position in GameStop. Things have changed dramatically for Griffin since the financial crash in the fall of 2008 when rumors were rife that his Citadel hedge funds were bleeding and the Federal Reserve had arrived at his offices to assess the situation for itself. Citadel denied the rumors and the New York Times published its denial allowing Griffin to survive the crash. Last year Forbes put Griffin's net worth at $15 billion. Griffin had a, a spread that... Um, Griffin has spread that money around to those who helped boost that net worth by keeping the carried and interest tax loophole in place for hedge fund managers such as himself. Carried interest, interest is a legalized tax dodge that allows the hedge fund billionaires to pay a tax rate lower than many plumbers and teachers. During uh, the 2019-2020 uh, election cycle, Griffin sent 21 checks of a million or more each to uh, PACs and uh, uh, super, super PAC, PAC and super PACs, uh, uh, working on, on behalf of exclusively Republicans. Griffin uh, wrote out the largest checks to the Senate Leadership Fund, a super PAC form to keep a Republican a majority in the Senate. As of December of last year, Stephen Law, the former Chief of Staff to former Senate Majority Leader M Mitch McConnell, was President of the Senate Leadership Fund. On September 23, 2020, uh, Griffin wrote out a check for $15 million uh, to the Senate Leadership Fund. On November 12, 2020, he wrote out another check to the same super PAC for $10 million. When he had this, add in his other checks for $1 million here and $5 million there, he sluiced the coal $37 million to the Senate Leadership Fund. Our data comes directly from the Federal Election Commission records for the 2019-2020 election cycle. Uh, Griffin had made so many contributions to individual Republican candidates that we uh, filtered the FEC data by uh, looking at just the checks he wrote out for one million or more. That turned up a total of 61 million in just that two year period for PACs and super PACs uh, working to elect Republicans. His total outlay on behalf of the Republicans was millions of dollars more. Since 2011, uh, Citadel has also spent approximately 500,000 or more per year lobbying the federal government for issues pertaining to derivatives trading and tax matters. Citadel has also attempted to stay very close to former Federal Reserve Chairs. Ben Bernanke was hired uh, as a senior advisor to Citadel the year after he stopped, uh, after he stepped down as Fed Chair. Bernanke uh, re remains in that position at Citadel. Janet Yellen, who stepped down as a Fed Chair in February 2018, reported on her financial disclosure report for Treasury Secretary that she had been paid $992,500 for speaking engagements at Citadel and had refunded it $50,000 to $100,000 for a canceled event. What the public should be uh, watching for in, in the hearing this Thursday is whether Republicans on the committee lob, 
uh, softballs at Griffin. We've seen that happen repeatedly when Wall Street Titans come before the Senate Banking and House Financial Services Committee. Kenneth Griffin donations of one million or more. Okay, and up here we have uh, carried. Uh, we have a uh, next Griffin Citadel Securities was paying for order flow from nine online brokerage firms, and those were. This is from February 4th, 2021. Okay. Another unit of Citadel, Citadel Advisors LLC had a net short position in GameStop. An article from February 2nd, 2021. Citadel didn't just bail out GameStop short sellers. Citadel also had a big short position in GameStop. Uh, rumors. 2008, when rumors were right that the Citadel hedge funds were bleeding, um, we have here New York Times by Luis Story, October 24th, 2008. Citadel chief denies rumors of trouble. Cur um, carried interest is a legalized tax dodge. Carried interest, um, Investopedia. Carried interest is a share of any profits that the general partners of private equity and the hedge funds received as a compensation regardless of whether they contribute any initial funds. Because carried interest acts as a type of performance fee, it acts to motivate the fund's overall performance. However, carried interest is often only paid if the fund's returns meet a certain threshold. 